Hello and welcome back to this lecture where we're going to take a look at if statements and also the show statement. So as we know in programming we have if statements to ask questions and our program changes depending on what type of question we're asking. Well Vue.js allows us to write conditional statements for our markup language right in the template using the vif, vlsif and vlse as well as vshow directives. So first of all I want to give you a basic example of a vif statement and a vshow statement and explain the differences. We have a checkbox that's modeled on the said hello property. And if I scroll down, you'll see that this said hello property is a Boolean property with a true and false value. When I untick the checkbox, you know that it's going to set that property to false. And when I tick it, it sets it to true. And you can also see that below there, we have a span element. It just has some basic text in it. And we just have a standard V if directive. And all we're doing is we're saying said hello. Now we know that said hello is either going to be equal to true or to false. Now we could write it like that, but quite frankly, in and of itself, it's either going to be true or false. If it's true, it will show this span element. Likewise, with the same span below, if it's true, it will show this element. They pretty much do the same exact thing here. So when I uncheck the checkbox, it will go to false. And of course, if it's a false statement, it will not display those particular elements. Now, if I set this to true, you're probably going, well, by the looks of things, everything actually looks the same. Why would I want to use vshow when I have vif? They both seem the same. However, what you'll find is that if I inspect this and take a look at my elements, you will notice that this span and this span is rendered, so both statements are true. And then let's set them to false. Now notice the difference. Did you notice the vif span has disappeared completely? The vif directive will either delete the element or put the element in. However, vshow just means display none, display block, or so forth. So that's the difference you get between vif, which gives the element when it's true and tells the browser to render that element. And you'll see that this span has the style of none. And then when I untick it, you'll see style is displayed to none and the other if statement just deletes the element altogether. That's the difference between vif and vshow and it depends on what you actually want from your template markup. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is the vlse directive. So this is like an if else statement. Now, every time you type in V if it's going to set up a new V if block. So there is an if statement. Here is a new if statement. If I was to write it in JavaScript, it would look like this. If do something and then I'd write it like this. If do something else do something. And so every time you write if you're starting a new if statement block, if you will. So now I can also do if, and then I can also do else if, which is the next one we're going to look at. And then also you can do else as well. So that's the way that we do the statement blocks in our template. Every time there's a vif, then there is a new if statement being established separate from the previous one. So now we have v if num is greater than one. If num is greater than one, and you know that we have num down here as a property, then if it's greater than one, we say num is greater than one. If it's not, then you say num is less than one. So all I need to do now is take a look at this input. And again, we're using the v model directive and we're targeting the num property. So when I change this field here, it's going to change the num property, just like we did in the last lecture. And then we'll see how these if statements are live. So for example, uh, we have num is less than one. Why? Because num is currently one. And that means that it's not greater than one. If it's two, then it will be greater than one. So this statement is now false. Is num greater than one? That is true. So now we get num is greater than one. If I set this to one, then num is no longer greater than one. So this is false. 
and it renders the v else directive. It says, well, if that's not true, then go with this. Next up, we also are v modeling the message and we want to check the message this time. So I'm using the triple equals operator and I'm saying if message is equal to hello, then it said said hello. Now currently the message property is equal to hello. So we return this span. And again, this property is down below and the default is hello. However, we also have a v else if. This directive says, well, if the previous statement is false, what if I can ask another question? So you can keep adding as many v else ifs after an if statement as you like. So v else if message equals by. So now if I say by and I spell it correctly, you will notice that it is true. So therefore it will render this span element. This span element is no longer true. So it doesn't render that one. And also the V else, it doesn't render it because this one is true. Next we have V else. So if I just type in any old thing, then it's going to say said something different because this statement is false. This statement is false. And the V else is just there as look, if all else fails, go ahead and do this. And these are optional. Okay, so you can just have a VF statement on its own. You can have a VF with a V else. You can have a VF with many V else ifs. You can have 20, 30 of these, it doesn't matter. And then you can only have one V else per if statement. And also that's optional. You don't have to have a V else. You can just have VF and V else if. And one final thing is that you have the v if directive and v show. Now the v show directive is on its own. So for example, with v if you could have v else and you could also have v else if and v else. However, for v show, it's just on its own. It cannot be combined with other directives. So go ahead guys and please subscribe to my channel. I've got loads of great content for you to watch. And I also want you to go ahead and check out the merch store. We have some fantastic looking posters when you pop them in a beautiful white frame. And it really helps with the support of this channel and to create more content.